Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Incremental Googology video, episode 8. And you can see, um, I, well, you can't really see anything yet. I grinded up to 27 fast growing hierarchy numbers, just enough to get another one of these, which you can see, I don't know how powerful that was, but it seemed decently powerful. And it's enough to reach the E231 unlock, which is interesting. Is that enough to get the it seems far? No, it's not enough to get this. I also got this achievement off camera, which is unlock zero only ba base three Bashiku matrices more times than base two. Which probably means I, w I was trying to grind as fast as I could and it was didn't work. So, yeah, I want to get it seems far away because not only it's going to multiply the number gain by an additional 1.2, it's also going to multiply zero only Bashiku matrices by 1.2. And this is everything. So, I just need E305, and I'm, okay, I'm 30 orders of magnitude away, but the polynomial growth now is, like, something like x to the 13 or 14. So, yeah, I'm just gonna wait this out. While I'm waiting this out, you can see I, my fastest is now 224.3 seconds according to this, which is not that much. It's, I'm, I think this is actually 50 instead of 60 frames per second i'm not quite sure or at least this seconds per second <laughs> i don't i don't know how to categorize it but yeah it's it's that it took about five seconds to fast going hierarchy prestige there and i i was even using like hotkeys for them so like i, I can use two and three to un to do the unlocks because i don't have the corresponding automatons yet Okay, here we go. I'm now getting very close to E305 here, so I can unlock this one more time, which means I can probably unlock all of these pretty easily. And hopefully, this will get me the... Yep, here we go. It seems far away. Have 16 different kinds of zero-only Bashiku matrices. The reward is that zero-only Bashiku matrices are 1% stronger, but actually is 1.44 times stronger. So, you can see now it's... Now that I'm above E308, for whatever reason, it's only doing, like, one sig fig. Probably because it's counting the exponent as three numbers, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna switch to six significant digits. So, yeah, I can also gain three fast-growing hierarchy number. I could go for more achievements, something like two is less than three. And I don't want to do something like this again, that two is less than three means the amounts. Because <laughs> it's like, that is what increment means, but I might have to do that. Um, the fourth row of achievements, I looked the code, it's actually all commented out, so it doesn't work. So that's kind of disappointing. So, maybe I can go for some of these. Skip to base 3 could be pretty easy as well. It's an unlock, is 0 only base 3 Bashiku matrix with only 0, 2 and the highest 0 only base, oh, 3 BM. That's... That may be tricky, because that means I need to, like, the first unlock, yeah, it's going to require a lot of number just from, just from the zero, I mean, I can try it. Never hurts to try. Well, I can't really, <laughs> it's actually, it's way quicker now because of the second item. I'm just going to go for this because it's, yeah, it, it is kind of ludicrously fast right now. I wouldn't call it ludicrously fast because one fast growing hierarchy number is barely barely anything, but I can just say I can reach I can reach fast growing hierarchy number super quick now. Like I think I'm trying to see what the fastest combo is. If I I don't even need to unlock any base three. I can just do a bunch of base two and it is just very is very quick. You can see 34 seconds according to this, which is very good. <laughs> and I'm up to 21 fast growing hierarchy numbers. So maybe I can get zero of them, which is boost zero to based on the fast unspent fast growing hierarchy number. Now that is going to mess up some of the equality achievements. So that's why I don't want to get that. But I think the equality achievements are already messed up. And I, I don't know if I can get <laughs> any of the equality achievements. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll just keep doing quick runs. Maybe if I do a, uh, base 3 unlock it's a little faster. I, I don't think it's any faster actually You can just see it's I'm just gaining fast growing hierarchy 
very fast. It now says 30 seconds according to this. Um, seems like the runs are about... They're, they're a little over a second. They're, they're like two seconds. Like, that's what, I, that's what I seem to get. I don't know. Maybe I just... What if I just hold... If I hold the two key down, it's... It's like 1.3 seconds. That's like real-time seconds. That's what I seem to be getting from this. And I don't think really this... It's only going to help... Basically what I'm doing is I'm grinding the fast grind how to keep prestiges. Because now I'm up to 82 of these and it's going to boost this. Now it's up to 9 times. So yeah, that's that. Okay, there's a new item here, which is interesting. It generates F sub 2 of N. So I think what this is saying is that Fast Growing Hacker Prestige erases the items generated by higher level ones. So, oh yeah, that looks that looks pretty OP, considering how OP items already are. You can see I have no unlocks, and I was able to get all the way to E160. Now, it, this does reset every time I do a Fast Growing Hacker Prestige, but it it's just this. So basically, this is the infinity dimensions of um, this game. So now let's see how far I can get. I'm just going to try to try to get as far as I can. So yeah, E305 is easy now, which is weird to think. I can get three fast growing hierarchy numbers very quick. But I do cap out at about E370. So let's see. I should probably I should probably get the three I don't. I think the fastest strategy is to now go for two fast growing hierarchy numbers every prestige, and maybe I can also start finally completing some of these challenges because there. Are, this one was almost possible. Oh my god! Yeah, look at this. E minus twelve. I should have gotten the nerf by a ghoul achievement now. That is insane. Yeah, I should probably disable all of my automa automatons here and exit the challenge. So let's re-enter it, and this time, wait just a little bit for this to go, and then get this, and you can see there's, like, no nerfing happening, and maybe it's, well, it's not going to be possible to beat the challenge. Um, now what? It is being nerfed. I gotta be careful. Okay, I can do one unlock. This shouldn't be as bad. Now I do one, and then by max. The problem is this grows exponentially. And there's no loser reset, so if you can't do it, you have to restart the entire challenge. Maybe I should just do a different challenge. <laughs> so, the fourth challenge is Bashiku matrices produced normally after the purchase and then decay exponentially based on the interval of your previous two purchases. So, it's kind of like a weird version of. Um, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. E negative 6,000. What are these challenges? Okay. It, it does it normally after a purchase. And then it decays exponentially. And it's... It's another, like, waiting challenge. Where basically... If I... So, let's, so if, I, if I do it, like, instantly. So let's say I go to the challenge. I go straight to this. It starts decaying very rapidly. But if I do this, wait, like, a decent amount of time here. You can see I'm just not doing anything and then i can go back to this now it's being nerfed by not as much and then i can wait another time and that will make things well okay that's not what i expected i thought it was going to reset it back to zero these challenges are insane oh my god these these are the hardest challenges i've ever i've ever encountered like, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the challenge 9 type challenge is, like, one of the easier challenges. And when I mean challenge 9, I mean Antimary Dimensions challenge 9, which is the hardest Antimary Dimensions challenge. So, yeah. Maybe we could even go for 5. Just automatically and easily buy a max of the 0 only Bashiga Matrix from lower to higher, but buying any... Bashiku matrices resets your number and lower Bashiku matrix. This feels like almost like challenge four, where it automatically sacrifices. Um, well, I don't know. This might just be bugged. 
because I'm not getting any number. Oh wait, no, it's like it's like it's like challenge six where I think somehow it's like costing the thing before it. I don't even know what's going on actually, to be honest. I'm just gonna exit this challenge because it looks impossible at this point. So there's also this challenge six, which is you spend zero 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 n to buy zero 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 with an extra zero n. So this is like Inspire Dimensions Challenge 6, right? Yeah. And this actually looks possible, maybe. I don't know. I actually can't I need to get 16 of these. <laughs> it's like it's like challenge six, except it costs that much of the dimension instead of like having reworked dimension costs. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not ready for any of these challenges. I'm not even close. The closest I am is challenge two, and that's still very far away. So, I should just keep grinding, maybe achievements. Maybe it's time to go for 2 is less than 3. Which is make the least multiplier of 0 only base 3 bash eco matrix larger than any 0 only base 2 bash eco matrix. So, this means I, I can easily unlo unlock a new base and get all the way to the E150 unlock. I can probably even get, I can get to the E305 unlock, but... Maybe that's not what I want to do, because I have to make the least multiplier of that. And, like, the least multiplier right now is, well, that. But look at these multipliers. Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. So, I, yeah, I, I don't, maybe, I don't think it's, I think I should just unlock this, get one of these, and then try to get the multiplier up. But... I don't think this is anywhere near possible at this point. So I should just give up this, although I did somehow get this. So actually, no, this is actually easier because since you're not producing the, like since you're not producing the, the things you're trying to get less of, you just need to get more flat out. And that means you just need to get two of the highest while you have one of these. And it's it's simple so well at least i got this this is impossible though because of just the way the multipliers are working out now the other thing i could get is skip to base three which is unlock zero only base three bash eco matrix with only zero two and highest zero only base three bash eco matrix bot and since it since it since everything is now so overpowered i can probably just do it i think um I'm going to do a fast growing hierarchy prestige first. So here's E300. And so so I think, well, first I need to get to base three. And then I just do this. And I have the highest one. And then I buy as much of these as I can because I think I, I'm allowed to do that. And I need E38, which is definitely possible. And I should be able to get skipped to base three like this. So E37 and e38 there we go skip to base three this also gives me a fell which boosts zero only bash eco matrix by eight times that's that's not bad and because of this this may give me three more cells because if the cells can overlap i'm not sure if they can but maybe i can try i'm gonna try to go for this one more time i have a new i have a new strategy and this is what if i start like with one of these and then well actually these are all the same so that kind of that voids that entire strategy so yeah i mean i mean maybe i could you know fast growing hierarchy prestige and then you know unlock but even that yeah they're all the same i actually no i can get one of these without changing the multiplier so that at least that's something but look what i need to get like i need three e7 and i'm only at one e6 I need to get ridiculous number for this. Like this is theoretically possible, but not practically possible anywhere close to where I am. I just need more fast growing hierarchy prestige and stuff. So I think what I want to do now is I, I just want to enable everything here, um, put this priority up and just like spam two and three, get three fast growing hierarchy prestige because because now it seems like I can do that pretty easily. And I could also just go for really fast runs like this. Um, it's 
because of all the resetting, it's not as fast as I might hope it is, but it's still under a second now. So this now says 24 seconds. I don't know how this time works, but at least this is now up to nine times. It seems like it's it's based on like the inverse of the time. So that means if I if I if I have the time it takes, it doubles that multiplier. At least that's what I feel like it is. It might be even stronger, like something like one over x squared, wherever. I think that's it. I don't know if it, that's one over x squared or one over squared of x. Where basically, if you have the time, it multiplies the reward by four times. I'm just too lazy to do the math. I can definitely do it, but I'm too lazy. The other thing I could do is just try to unlock as much as I can and see how far I can get. And I'm able to get about E380 this time. It's not really anything that much more because the next unlock is E462. So, yeah. Um, I can get four fast growing hierarchy number in one go, which is like, cool, I guess. I can also double this multiplier again. I'm kind of weary of getting zero loom because of how the how it makes it way harder to get stuff like this and this. Um, I think this is already impossible though. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grind a lot of fast growing hierarchy number. That's that's what I need to do. Grind a lot of it, and then come back. Maybe you'll even have a well. Wait, this is ten thousand. I thought this was one thousand. I'm like maybe I could get this, but no, that that's not gonna happen. Maybe I could get like 384 and get more of this. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.